Ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to talk about jerk baits. And jerk baits, whether you're a walleye fisherman, a bass fisherman, or a pike fisherman, whatever you're fishing for, where you feel the need to pull one of those baits out of your box, well, I'm here to tell you that there's another one out there that you might overlook or even use them. Well, we're going to talk about them today. First came the husky jerk. Then came the x wrap And then came the shadow wrap. Well, today we're going to talk about the KVD jerk bait from Strike King. What's going on folks at home? John Newman here with Bass Kickers Outdoors and today we're going to talk about a jerk bait that I think is probably one of the better ones out on the market next to Rapala. Now I'm a big Rapala guy. I love the classics, the original floater, the husky jerk, the X wrap, the shadow wraps, even those new rip stops they got out there. Rapala's got so many different jerk baits that especially for walleye guys out there that like to use plugs. There's just a different variety of colors and a different variety of types of jerk baits that they have that it's kind of hard to choose. Well, I kind of withered away from Rapala a little bit and started trying these out because I heard about them. I never used them before. I started using them actually last season. Kind of, eh, I bought a couple colors and tried them out and I'm just, I saw a lot of good result from them, with, definitely with the walleye. And it's these guys right here. This is what I got in the package. I just actually bought it today. The Strike King KVD Jerkbait. They come in a couple sizes. It's called, uh, I think they call it KVD 200 and KVD 300. Honestly, there's just two sizes that I've seen. I haven't seen any other sizes beside these. So if you have, let me know. Or maybe I just got to take a look around a little more. But uh, I got a whole pile of them right here of different sizes. Let's start with my favorite color. And this is the one that I have been doing very good on since while I opened up this year. And that is Pro Blue. Now I'm gonna, before I start talking about the bait, I'm gonna show you the size difference. This is the larger one, which is the 300, which I'm pretty sure it's like four and a quarter inches. And then this is the smaller one. So it's probably like four inches. Cause if you put them next to each other, I mean, hold on, let me, ow. <laughs> If you put them next to each other like this, I mean, there's really not that much of a size difference as far as length. A little bit, you can see right there, but more or less in the girth of the bait. But I'm gonna use the bigger one for an example of the Pro Blue. Take a look at the top right there. It's kind of like a bluish, purplish color. It's got the laser engravings on it. It's very holographic, very flashy. I don't know if you can see that. And it's got three trebles on it. A lot of your Rapalas, they kind of use two, especially the X-Wrap. But uh, I kind of like having three hooks on there. But I'll also show you, the smaller one only has two. Only the larger one of them has three hooks. But I like having that third hook. It doesn't really affect the action of the bait that I've noticed just from looking at them in the water when I first started using them. But I will say this about Pro Blue. The action that this has, just the bait in general, we'll get to, but with this one in particular with its action it looks blue but it's got like a purple tint to it and in the water it's weird it's almost like a i like it like i kind of think it looks like a pearl almost like i don't know if you can really see it but it looks a lot different in the water especially with the flash that this gives off but uh i'll talk about the action um strike king from what i understand they had the idea that they wanted to have the weight transfer system now if you watched my max wrap rapala max wrap video in the past this bait has the same type of like thought process behind it maybe not as far as being slender even though for what it is it is pretty slender but it's still a pretty beefy bait especially the bigger one but uh it's got a weight transfer system and basically what they do is they have tungsten weights that are in here which you can see these ones kind of roll around right there. You got a smaller ones and you got bigger ones. And then you got these two that are hanging out up here on the top. I'm trying to get you to see them a little bit. But what that does is when you cast, it just has the proper weight distribution that's supposed to give you a lot better castability, especially like in the wind and things like that. Now, the past couple of days here on Oneida Lake, it's been pretty windy. And to be honest, it's castability with the weight transfer system, it's not bad. I think the Max Wrap definitely casts a lot better in the wind over this, but this bait just is awesome. 
but uh, it also has a classic system that we all like rolling flashing and wiggling it's the action that this thing has is pretty cool and if you're not careful with a lot of jerk baits out there especially like your cheaper end ones yeah they have a nice flash they roll good they wiggle pretty good in the water but sometimes you got to fish slow and you got to have that pause or long pause this bait kind of reminds me of the shadow wrap it's a slow riser like it'll sit there and slowly rise because you can sit there and you watch it and it kind of wiggles a little back and forth when it goes up where uh some of your cheaper ones which i have a couple of old cotton cornells and i absolutely adore and i use all the time they shoot right up to the top so that's one thing like when you're trying to fish slow with something like that you're not going to have good results with it if you can't have that slow pause if it's just going to shoot to the top but uh anyways let's talk about the other colors we got here besides pro blue we kind of went off track a little bit um this one's kind of like pro blue same thing two different sizes but uh it's got the same top the same purplish bluish color with the laser engravings but on the bottom i'll show you the bottom of the pro blue pro blue's kind of got like a pearly white reflective uh paint job on the bottom but uh this one's got all sure truce all sure truce and if uh i'm not getting anything on this one i'll switch to this one just because i like the pro blue color it definitely makes a difference i mean it's a little it's a, the same bait but there's just a small difference obviously with the bottom of the other carriage paint job that's about it and uh now let's see here this one here is gold this gold i think is awesome because it's it's really kind of like a yellowish gold with a little bit of mix of black and silver like they just completely i don't even know how to explain it. like they did a good job with this gold um i'll tell you one thing though the gold you can see right there i don't know if you can see real well that's i've only caught one fish on this and i only casted it out once the other day and uh anything with teeth i can see that it definitely will show that it's been around the block a few times like i'll show you my pro blue on this one here if you look you can see a lot of teeth marks and kind of like the paint job starting to kind of chip away i use this religiously this size blue but the paint jobs I kind of noticed, depending on them, are not as high quality as Rapala's. Even though Rapala's can chip away too after you know you catch a lot of toothy critters, but these I don't know. Like I have some of these that like the paint job is okay and it'll last, but some of these they don't. And this one, this is the only one of these I had because I just tried it out. It's a great color and it worked great. Like literally first cast first couple of pauses and that fish just kept coming back at it and I finally was able to get them. This one in particular I have not thrown yet. I just got this one today too. Um, this is the Sexy Shad. Now I'm sure a lot of you guys out there know the color Sexy Shad. But this one's a little bit different. I don't know if you can see it in the light but this one's kind of got like a glitter pattern in it. You see that? Just to add a little extra flash. Because the other ones I showed you had laser engravings or just the chrome job done to it. This one is basically the same basically the same principle as the pro blue except it doesn't have the laser engravings it just has the glitter paint job on it and it's literally all over the bait i'm actually pretty psyched to use this one when uh, bass season starts i haven't tried throwing this for walleye yet but i think i might throw it tonight just because i don't know i just have a good feeling about it but definitely cool and uh this one right here <laughs> This is a pickerel magnet. I mean, honestly, I got a couple of these for pike, but uh, the pickerel seem to love these. This is their fire, their intake on the fire tiger. I think it's pretty cool. It almost looks like they give like a spray paint type job if you look at it. I mean, I don't know. It's hard to explain this one, really. I mean, it's it's pretty much speaks for itself. It's a very loud fire tiger. I mean, if you think about uh, Rapala's intake on fire tiger and then some of Strike King's other baits that they got, like their uh, crank baits that they got out there in fire tiger, this one's just, I don't know, they just pretty much took this one and it looks like a graffiti artist got their hands on it, because, I don't know, it's just different. I've never seen a fire tiger quite like this one. And if you look, it's got a little bit of the glitter into it, like the uh, Sexy Shad did. So, honestly, I've caught a lot of fish on these, especially a lot of northerns, so I'm definitely not going to talk much trash about it. It's different, but it's definitely cool, and it definitely works. And last but not least, I think I'll just open this one up because I got to put it back in the box anyways. I opened the other one, but I didn't open this one. This is the clown. 
This is a kind of a weird clown. I have a Cotton Cordell clown that's like this, but to me it's kind of a different type of clown. If you looked at, if you remember the gold one here, you see how the chrome paint job that they got on it is, like the chroming that they've done to it? The, uh, the clown's kind of similar. It's like a silverish, like gold, it's almost like not even gold, it's like a bronze. It's like a silverish bronze mixed in with the yellow, silver, and the red. And on the bottom there. Definitely different. I can see where they're going with these uh, baits that they got the chrome finish on them. Definitely have a lot of flash. Like this gold, it's like having a flashlight underwater. It just, the reflectiveness that this thing has is ridiculous. But uh, other than that, they're great jerk baits. I've absolutely loved them. I've actually been kind of withering away from X wraps and kind of using these just because I've had such good luck with them. And uh, they're a little bit more expensive than the Husky Jerk. They're around the same price as the X wrap, anywhere from six to eight dollars, depending on where you go. I've been kind of trolling around on eBay lately for these because, well, with the COVID 19, a lot of us don't have the luxury of going to stores to get our stuff, like Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's, unless you are doing the, the curbside pickup. But our Bass Pro Shops isn't doing that. And uh, I know Cabela's is doing it, but the closest Cabela's to me is in Buffalo. And that's like a three hour drive for me, three, four hour drive, because I'm in the upstate in the North Country. But uh, the other one is in Pennsylvania, which that one is awesome. The one that's in Hamburg or Harrisburg or one of those that's down there. I'm sure if you guys have been there, you know what I'm talking about. That one is the worth the drive, but. I don't know. I've just been kind of hopping around on eBay and I've been finding them relatively cheap and just buying them by the couples. I wish I had the two that I got in the coming in the mail. They're actually pro black. They're like the pro blue, but it's like black and silver with the laser engravings and the glitter and all that. Dude, I think it's going to be sick. I saw those. I'm like, oh my God. Like there's so many different cool colors in these that are out there. So go on there and check them out. Uh, Tackle Warehouse I know probably has them, but I don't know if they've... Uh, did away with that delay yet? They said that there was like a, somebody told me there's like a week delay if you order from them because of California or something like that. But there's something I bought on eBay that I got from California and it came in the mail like inside a week. So I don't know if that's true. I have no idea. But uh, that's all I got for you guys today. Uh, just want to make a shout out to Vern's Bait and Tackle out in Brewerton for hooking us up with minnows. They're definitely doing a great job for everybody around here because a lot of bait shops have been kind of low on things. And uh, just everybody in general is just trying to keep up. So just a shout out, not just the Verns, but all the bait shops that are open out here, man. We appreciate it. You guys definitely put in the time for us so we can get out and go fishing. Uh, if you're new to the channel, make sure you like and subscribe. Check out all the other content I got in here. Got more stuff coming up. Um, other than that, I guess I'm going to get on out there and get ready because uh, it's starting to get dark and I got to get to my walleye hole. So I'll see you all later. And just remember, no matter what you're doing, make sure you keep them lines tight. Take her easy.